All right, guys, I laid out the uh, backsplash here for the kitchen counter area. Um, and I need two more pieces to complete it. Now, one is supposedly on the way, but I'm still going to need one more in order to uh, get this thing done. I um, wonder if I can do... that direction doesn't look too good so I guess we'll have to do that way so that'll kind of fill in this space underneath the window frame and all along the wall here and uh, I'm just gonna leave everything in the plastic for now till I get two more pieces and go from there so hopefully that works out okay and that'll kind of clean up that back wall area um, that should work out I, I'm still, I'm about in the middle of a movie still, DVD, and uh, I got the flyer going here. I'll uh, show you what's going on in here. So I just got this thing damped down about halfway. So we'll see what happens here when I open her up. Looks good. So let me grab my poker. Yeah, I got this thing at the Dollar Tree for a buck twenty-five. And um, really can't beat it. I don't need to buy no high-end specialty stuff to get just have a little poker. This is a buck twenty-five for this thing, so I think it's for steaks or something. I'm not quite sure, but whatever. I'm just gonna throw some more wood in there, and uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'll just grab some of the wood from these bags. I'm looking for some bigger chunks, but um, don't have too much for now. I gotta put the camera down while I do this because I have no place to put the camera. So, <laughs> sorry about that, guys, but that's the way it is. And I'm, I definitely wanna put gloves on because I did burn myself there putting some sticks in last time. Oh, I got a piece right here actually, waiting in the wings, so that's all right. Just keep it stocked up for a little bit. And actually, I'm going to clean the glass too while I'm at it. Blow some of that char into the sink here. That way, I don't have issues. There we go. So she's cooking, guys. Um, I got that fan is going. Um, these got I got two fans now. One there, and one here. This one is kind of blowing across the side of it, and in behind, and then. This guy's kind of scooping up the um, the air in behind there and shooting it out this way. And it's they're both running on a power pack donated by Charles, 95%. And we're getting up to we're up to 58 Fahrenheit, 58.4 Fahrenheit at 50, 46 outside. So not too bad, not too bad, guys. So loving the wood stove. Um, normally what I'll do is I'll cook this during the day and uh, into the night a little bit and then I will turn on the propane uh, gas fireplace to take over for the rest of the night um, which is nice because it's automatic and will handle everything because I don't normally get up in the middle of the night to feed this thing so pretty awesome 
I'm still gonna kind of work around getting better airflow around this thing. I want to get some 5 volt uh, USB fans, the small ones. Um, one to blast air in the fresh air uh, for startups, only for startups. And then maybe one back here to blast across the back side of the, of the stove. And maybe, and then maybe one over here shooting out this way. But for now, this is what I got rigged up. Um, it seems to be moving the air pretty good. And I can always turn on the ceiling fan over here as well, but I figure since this one's blowing down um, across, it's basically blowing right across the top here and shooting down towards the bed area there. Oh, and my TV went into screensaver mode because I paused it and talking away. Um, I gotta dispose of uh, Pierre's battery pack. Um, this is all that's going to be going in the trash is battery and the case and I saved most of the other stuff actually So that saves it from going into the junkyard. So Yeah, and oh I did tie up the Android box wires So it's here and I'm gonna leave that <coughs> Unplugged until I need it and when it's in use and it goes into the bottom USB port, which is 5 volt, 2.1 amp. So that's dedicated just for the Android box. And the hub, the USB hub, I just moved up to a 1 amp circuit because that's fine because all it's doing is recharging my uh, sound, <coughs> my external speaker here, and my radio. So shouldn't draw too many amps those devices anyway so <coughs> I'm still fighting a little bit of uh, um, I had like a walking pneumonia guys but uh, this way it goes um, also bad some bad news about my dad's progress with the cancer um, he's done his chemo but um, they schedule you for a checkup, obviously, at the end of your chemo. So they took his blood and checked his white blood cell count levels, and they were really low. So they found out the reason they're really low is he had all these spots, um, like a breakout, like zits almost, around his uh, the side of his cheek and the back of his neck. And he wasn't sure what the, that was, so I told him, well, just put some aloe vera on for now. He says it actually stung like bee stinks, so um, we found out, and he got this, it started about two weeks ago, and he got real tired when he got it, um, but then obviously you're not going to, we can't really reschedule with the doctor to go in earlier, so we got to his appointment, they took his blood, checked it, and they said, well, your white cell count's really low. And guess what these spots are? Shingles. So he got sh the shingles virus. And they gave him some medication for that. And uh, obviously he's kind of down in the dumps after. Um, because everything was going really well. And then all of a sudden we got tripped up with this. So uh, guys, prayers needed. Um, good vibes. Send them our way for my dad for sure. Um, and hopefully we can get through all this. Um, the the cannabis situation in Canada it's legal, but the government the government run cannabis operation is a joke. Um, I ordered my cannabis for my dad. I ordered him some cannabis and the oil, but mostly the oil and. I ordered it the day, October the 18th, which is the day after it's legalized, uh, or it was legal, um, and I've yet to get it. I'm basic. It's almost been a month, and we're basically the government's basically doing what Wish does is take the take a month to get any any of the product out to everybody. But I guess what happened was there was so they were un, totally unprepared. There was such a high demand for cannabis that it totally caught them off guard. They couldn't keep a stock. 
and then the postal strike also hit as well which is still ongoing here um, and I should give you guys the date and time so you guys have a reference it is Saturday November the 3rd 2.40 in the afternoon and I'm enjoying my tiny house um, but that's what's going on and I feel bad for my dad like I, I'm telling him don't stress over it um, we're still giving them all the natural stuff and all that but it's what can you do like they the, even the doctor said 5% of the people who do chemo do get shingles so what are you gonna do right um, it's it's just the way it is so hopefully it's treat it's hopefully it's treatable and he gets over it and uh, like I say guys uh, send the love over to my dad good vibes prayers everything like that and uh, we'll go from there so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this DVD movie over here and <laughs> enjoy the nice fire uh, another another big thanks to Pierre and his mom for getting me some free lumber for the tiny house so big big th thumbs up for you guys thank you